And yeah, World Elite Pepsi Infi. Top pos position next to him. Top left, we have the human player. Top right, we have the orc player. So, oh, damn, I messed up the score. Wait a second. Uh, it's the other way around. Infi, of course, is in the lead, not Grubby. So, there we go. So, now it is correct. Okay. So, yeah, close position on Turtle Rock. Um, back then, was a possibility. Nowadays, of course, that is not possible anymore. Possible anymore. But yeah, always produced interesting and entertaining games. So let's see how this one turns out. Grubby pretty standard opening here with the Altar of Storms, Orkboro and Barracks. Let's see, probably going for the Blade Master once again. Yeah, that's exactly what he is doing. His opponent, also not too surprising, Infi kicking things off with the Archmage, Barracks. Coming up, we get the second farm now. And Grubby, well, he is scouting the closed position. Turtle Rock, um, yeah, most people said it is not the best map for human, um, especially because of the creep camps here. Because human fast expo is pretty much off the table because those Gargantuan sea turtle camps are super, super, super hard to creep. I mean, it is doable with a ton of militia support, good micro, and everything else, but ah. Uh, if you get creep jack, that's pretty much GG's right away. And yeah, this gold mine here, the red camp, is completely out of the question. So very, very tough for humans to fast expand. And therefore, yeah, um, a map that actually a lot of orc players chose against a human. So let's see if Grubby is also having a bit of a map advantage here on TR. In fee. Creeps the first camp in front of his main base, gets the Gauntlets of Ogre Strength. Same camp going to Grubby. Oh, he gets a way better item. He gets the Slippers of Agility, so that's already plus three attack damage here on the Blade Master. Blade Master sells the TP, picks up a healing self and a speed scroll, sees the Orc army coming in, and um, yeah, immediately uses his Wind Walk to save the healing self, which worked out brilliantly. Robbie, okay, trying to get a water mantle kill here. Let's see if this works out. He's actually investing another wind walk here, and he gets the experience points. J2 tech started now by Infi. Robbie probably starting his tech as well. There we go. So both players now on their way to tier two. More grunts in production here for Grubby. and Infi once again pulling the militia. So he's probably going for the ogre warrior camp. Looking for level two, and of course, another item here. So let's see. Water Mantle summoned. So this boy will tank the damage, but oh boy, Grubby knows what's happening here. He is going in for the creep check here. Let's see. Unfortunately, he's not able to get the first creep with the item, but he gets the second one, and he gets the last one on the Water Mantle. So that's level two now for the Blade Master. Really well done. Infi will also get level two after killing the small creep the small remaining creep here actually speed scroll activated here by grubby to chase down the archmage grunts trying to get a block but this is not working out and now blade master with the boots of speed going after the human first hero let's see infi of course also going to the shop now he also wants the boots of speed Creeps are triggered, but oh boy, <laughs> Infi bought everything he could get. Boots, staff, dust of appearance. And now he's stepping back into his main base. I mean, most of the people for, uh, from Warcraft 3 team from that time have moved on with their lives, but I'm still here. <laughs> well, Nelius, uh, I think there are quite a lot of people from back then still active in the Walker Free scene, so you are not alone. That is for sure. But I mean, it's it's also pretty cool. I mean, that we're still captivated by this game um, almost 20 years later. Especially when so many games were hyped for like... I mean, especially in the modern day Twitch era, by the way, nice opera cancelled here by Infi. Um, kind of feels like there. If you go to Twitch and you go to the homepage of Twitch and you see like, okay, there's a game in the 
top five uh, most streamed games because I don't know the game developers pay a lot of money that the top streamers playing this game. Then it's like hype for one week, two weeks, and then it's just gone completely. Um, so yeah. Hey Starscream, you saw my Discord message. Um, you mean about the replay, right? I think so. Haven't I answered yet? If so, I'm very sorry. I will do that um, during the break or after the stream, for sure. Anyway, uh, let's quickly focus about build order. Oh, uh, no, don't think so. Did it just write it? Give me a second. Oh, yeah, it just wrote it. No, I uh, haven't seen it yet, so I will check it out after the game. Anyway, let's focus on the game here real quick. Tier 2 tech done for Infi. What's the second hero? This time it is the Mountain King. Okay. Double Arcane Sanctum coming up. And a very, very low HP Archmage. Jesus Christ, we need a healing potion. And there we go. Healing potion. Use this blade. Master is quick. And he's dealing quite a lot of damage. Tier 2 tech also done for Grubby. And he once again gets a Watchtower. Um, Spirit Lodge is coming up. B3 is coming up. As well as the Shadow Hunter. Um, once again... I would interpret this as a um, anti-tower rush building placement. Because, as I said, you have um, the Yogboros very offensive here, so they are able to attack. And by the way, there we go. Ivory Towers. This time only two Ivory Towers and the militias are streaming in. Let's see. We need all of the peons here. Orc Boros are getting loaded up. There's the repair. Oh, MK is getting hexed and focused. Actually, not too sure if the MK is a good idea. I mean, yeah, you can sobble the Blade Master and deal quite a bit of damage here. Oh, hex used on the priest. Oh boy, Blade Master. Super hurt already. Gets a healing self now. We have the first Spirit Walker out. Stormbolt now on the ground. Orc Boros are firing. So is the Watchtower. 37 supply for Grubby. For 34 supply for Infi. First Demolisher in production. Spirit Walker depth training as well. Oh, Storm Bolts on the Shadow Hunter. This time Hex first. Last time. On the last map, we saw Serpent Wards first. Let's see if he's able to do a bit more with the Hex Archmage. Stepping back to the main base here. Is Infi actually leaving his towers? I mean, he has two guard towers up, gets number three. Grubby's moving out for a few kills here. Gets a few peasant kills. Meantime, the guard tower is attacking the grunt here. Speed scroll used. Scrubby is able to save all of his units here. And yeah, this time, this building placement worked out way, way better for Grubby. Because Infi was just not able to build the towers closer to Grubby's main base. Otherwise, they would have been cancelled with the Oak Ball. Focus fire. So yeah, this tower push is done. And now... Infi is trying to transition. He's going for a turtle creep camp here. Oh, Grubby, are you able to get the next one as well? Yep, he steals both turtles here. And he's now level 3. Hex on the Mountain King. Speeds uh, slow is active. Blade Master gets storm bolted. Oh, but the human player is not able to get a Gargantuan Sea Turtle here, it looks like. Even though the Water Metal is still dealing a bit of damage. We have the Spirit Walker now here. Oh, another Hex on the Mountain King. Critical Strike. Speed Scroll is active. Mountain King goes down. Okay, be careful now, Grubby. Don't lose your Shadow Hunter in all of this. Uh, human army. Oh, boy, he's running into the tower. Spirit Walker goes down. Grunt dies as well. Okay, that was a pretty hefty investment for a hero kill. Does it pay off in the end? We will see. Demolisher is taking care of the guard towers here. So even though there are three towers up, they are not doing anything to the Orc army. Infi actually sent in a few militias to kill this big uh, turtle, which gives him the big healing potion, which is nice. And let's see. Is 
Krabi able to get a few more units. He kills another priest. But the guard towers are still standing. Grubby finally gets one kill here at least. So there's still a few towers up and firing. Mountain King is back. 42 supply for the human. 48 for the orc player. Oh, that is a beautiful ensnare here on the Sorg. Well, wow, right, is going in trying to get the next ensnare. And he gets it and he gets the kill. Nicely done here by Grubby. Spirit Link comes in. Uh, kind of tricky, of course. With the spirit link. Because can get stolen pretty easily here. Hey, my life. Show moon. We actually have moon in this tournament. So we will definitely see games of moon. Ooh, grubby. Oh, steals the next turtle here. Jesus Christ, okay. Uh, but, oh boy. Now he's getting stormballed. There's no mana. Oh, he will lose his blade master. Oh, grubby. What are you doing? Oh. Jesus! Is he committing to this creep check without the blade master? Oh man. That was a mistake. It was a bit too greedy here. Went and had not enough mana points for the next wind walk. And he gets storm bolted, focused and killed. Orc first hero is down. Oh man. But so are the human towers here very soon. But I mean look at those towers. Jesus Christ, they take forever to kill, especially even though we have a demolisher here. Oh boy. And anyway, Blade Master is coming back. 48 supply for Grubby. 48 supply also for Infi. Spellbreakers and Priests. Infi now creeping Mountain King to level 2. Cells, I think, to scroll the Beast. Gets a new pot for that. Now he has two boots of speed in his inventory. So he'll probably sell one. Oh, and he gets a tomb of XP. Oh man. That's almost level three now on the MK. Grubby, he's trying to pull the Ogre Lord and surround him, and he's actually able to do that. Let's see, is he able to get the kill though? Because Infi is coming in for this creep camp. But yeah, Grubby gets the kill. He gets the item, gets the cloak of flames. But now he has to go back. He will lose one raider to the Stormbolt. There we go. Raider goes down. Grubby actually trying to get the last hit here with the Shadow. But this is not happening. Mount King now level 3. Oh man. Bring back Tomb of GG. Yeah. Well that was actually very... That was huge for the Mountain King. I mean... Everything that happened in the last couple of minutes here. Grubby losing his Blade Master. Uh... Infi being able to creep, getting the Tomb of XP here. That all worked out pretty well for the human player. Blade Master is back now. Oh, this time the MK is very offensive, but don't focus this Mountain King. He has an Invo Potion and he has a big healing potion. This boy will take forever to kill. Speed Scroll activated. The Peon's not fighting as well. Grubby is fighting out in the open here. We have a Kodo Beast now, and Infi is actually TPing out of there. This situation is getting a bit too tricky for him. Healing wave used, because the Mountain King was actually... Well, actually was pretty low, but still big healing potion in his inventory. Okay, 57 supply for Grubby. 55 supply for Infi. Oh, Infi has to kill a farm, because he's trapped in his main base. I've got a cane tower now here at the gold mine. And finally, Grubby is getting one of his own Gargantan Sea Turtle camps. Yeah, in the last couple of minutes he just stole turtles, but this time he's creeping on his own. Let's see, many of health and another big healing potion. That is not too bad. Ivory Tower is coming up, so Infi... He is, uh, looks like he's going for AT2 Expo. Okay, Tomb of Intelligence. A lot of items sold here, Jesus Christ. But he still has two boots of speed on his Mountain King. I think, he, is he trying to sell them? No. What? Okay, he sold everything he had. Uh, item that he got at the shop was a big, um, protection, if I saw that correctly. 
And he sold that as well, not giving it to the MK. Red camp now going to the human player. Cut gas by within inside, not good. Because he already has a brilliant aura, so this will be another sell. Well, the Mountain King has to read. <laughs> Agree. Agree. So maybe that's the reason why he's keeping both boots. Or maybe not. <laughs> and he got another Tomb of XP. Is that so? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He did. Oh, man. Double Tomb of XP here for Infi. Now we have level 4 Archmage and level 4 Mountain King. Grubby, he crept this turtle camp between the two bases. And now he is going in with some watchtowers. Now he is towering. So, giving him a bit of something of his own medicine here. Okay, we're going into the fight. Stormbolt used on the first raider. Spiddling activated. There is a ton of slow. This demolisher is a, a bit too offensive for my taste, I have to say. But still, I mean, okay, he's still into the front line. So he can fire... Without getting attacked, Blade Master gets storm bolted here. A lot of casters going down. Healing scroll used. Heal waves coming in. Grubby, actually with pretty good micro. Take a look at those low HP raiders, for example. Next spellbreakers are getting focused and killed. Level four now for the Shadow Hunter. Grubby uh, gets focused. Blade Master is under attack. Heal wave comes in to save him. There's still a big evil potion and uh, a small evil potion, but still a big healing potion. And Grubby looks like he's just plowing through. The human army right now. There we go. Big healing potion now used on the blader. Raider is under attack. What about the shadow hunter? Has a ton of mana. So we will see the next healing wave. There we go. Level 2 healing wave doing a nice job here. Spirit walkers in the back. Now killing the next bottom metal. Not a storm bolt used here by the mountain king. Uh, Raider is going down. But Grubby, he's getting so many kills here. Especially with the cloak of flames. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Now he's going after the mountain king. Mountain king heals himself. Maybe one last time, we will see. More grunts. Uh, pretty low. Another raider is going down. What about the towers here? Well, we have one tower, but that's not doing too much here. But Infi has the expansion up and running now. So, 53 supply for Infi. Grubby with 57. It was a great fight here by the Orc player. But also very, very expensive. Heal scrolls, mana, invo potions, big healing potions. That was a huge investment here by Grubby, but also Infi. He was forced to use quite a lot of items and, well, his main base is now under heavy attack. There are a few castles here in the back, called Worms with everything that he got. And now we're going into the next, maybe the last fight here. Blade Master gets another Spellbreaker kill here with the Critical Strike. Archmage is very offensive now. He's going back. Mountain uh, King throws a Stormbolt here on the Blade Master. Still an invo potion available for Infi. Both human heroes are, well, in the yellow HP range for now. This spell is coming in. Blade Master goes after the Mountain King. Mountain King is actually able to fight his way out of the wall. The militia is having not a good day, though, against the Clock of Flames of Grubby. Let's see. More and more units are going down. Next Spirit Link is activated. Blade Master reaches level 5. And we have a shop now here for Grubby. Oh, that is so helpful. Picks up a big healing, uh, small healing potion here. Uses it on the Blade Master. But he can get clarities. He can get mana potions for the Shadow Hunter. And that is huge. And there we go. There is the clarity. And we get the next tower. This time a bit more offensive. And Grubby is actually able to attack the barracks now with this tower. And he still has the demolisher. Kodo Beast was able to eat one Spellbreaker. Of course, providing the very important Wardrom's aura. Which helps a lot. Infi. He has the expo running. But I don't think that this helps him to win this game. 44 supply against 51. Grubby looking very, very good now. He defended the first tower push. Then he was ahead. But after that... Oh, Grubby, be careful. Your demolisher. Then he lost his Blade Master, which was a bit unnecessary. But it happened. Then Infi with, well, good creeping. Two tombs of XP. But looked like that this attack was perfectly timed by Grubby. Spellbreakers now going in, stealing the Spirit Link. Stormbolt used on the Raider with a Water Metal in the back. Where is the Dispel by Grubby? So far he's not Dispelling because there is no mana. Spirit Link comes in once again. Hex was used on the Mountain King here. Another Footman is going down. Grubby's Grunt in the front line is under attack. Spirit Link gets casted. Healing Wave goes in. 
with a God Tower now in the bag. Another Raider. Stun Raider is super low. Goes back. Wakurabi pumping out the 260 critical strikes now. Another Storm Bolt used here on the Blade Master. Healing Wave immediately used to counter it. Water Mantle about to fall here. There we go. Shadow Hunter gets the last hit and he gets level 5. So level 3 Healing Wave on the Bash. Tiny bit too late here. Blade Master gets healed. But Grubby. He's at 50 supply. He will lose a few more peons here, I think. Because, well, they are very, very low on HP thanks to the Spirit Link. And those provide juicy experience points here for the human player. There we go. All of the peons are dead. Fifty free supply. Infi, he has no lumber left. He almost no lumber, so he can't really repair. And well, he can't really produce any units. That's the reason why he's going for footies right now, because it's the only one, he, uh, only unit he can really afford in this situation. Oh, and Grubby scouted the expo, and he's going in, and he just demolishes the towers here. And now he is going for the town hall. Infi, of course, wants to defend his expansion. Gets the demolisher kill. And yeah, Militia's called once again. Focus fire here on the Mountain King, taking a ton of damage. Your Blade Master gets Storm Bolted. Is there enough mana for a healing wave? Yes, there is. Invo Potion popped by the Mountain King. Cold Beast comes in, eats another Spellbreaker. More Spirit Link casted. Storm Bolt used here on the Raider. What about the Shadow Hunter? Uses, I think, a Mana Potion uh, to get the next heal wave out. He's able to save this Raider. The footies are getting annihilated here. Another huge Storm Bolt on the blade master but yeah that's not stopping the orc first here especially with the level three healing wave that is just huge healing here for grubby another priest gets ensnared gets focus whirling cast once again grubby is trying to save one of his raiders but gets bashed but the mountain king gets ensnared in return he is trapped he is surrounded he gets focused and he gets killed blade master and the Orc army getting the kill here. Only two or three more, two or three kills needed for the level six for the blade storm. Not Grubby. He, yeah, it looks like that he is actually able to win game number two. Another ensnare used to keep the water mantle in place. One more kill needed for level six. There we go. There is level six. Militia's called once again. Uh, there's a grunt harassing the peasant line at the gold mine, so that's also not working out in Infi's favor right now. And this Blade Master is just going to work here with those critical strikes. And Infi sees that there is no chance we get the Blade Storm, we get the axe. And he <laughs> kills the Archmage for good measure. 